welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will show you how we can use biomath tool to change gene symbols into their gene ids and how we can change gene ids back into their gene symbols so for this we will use ensemble database biomath tool so for this we just need to open the ensemble database so after opening that website you can simply go to this biomath tool so when you will click on this biomath tool this tool will be open so uh, before entering you can simply click on this new after clicking this new you have to choose the database so from the drop down menu we can see there are the different genomes like ensemble genes we can choose the ensemble genes and from the data set we can choose humans mouse rat and zebra genes and uh, there are also many other animals which have been sequenced so far so uh, because we are using human genes so we i will select the human genes so when after selecting the database uh, we have to uh, enter the gene ids in the filter and we will get our results in this attribute so first of all let's input our gene symbols and for uh, after clicking this filter you can go with the gene symbols and here you can see we can input our external reference ids list and we can uh, maximum up to 500s are advised and if your file is big you can also uh, just simply upload so let me go back to that file and i can change the gene symbols first into their uh, gene ids so because now i am entering the gene symbols so uh, uh, let me choose from uh, this drop down menu that what is this so that database and uh, this tool can easily identify that what is this because these are the gene names so i will select that these are gene name and uh, we can uh, now select the attributes attribute is actually the final output form so we need output form in the form of gene stable id we can also select the gene name so that at the meanwhile we can know uh, the gene name is corresponding to with gene stable id you can also uh, get other information like the transcript id but for the time being i don't need and uh, i am just clicking this phenotype description if this gene has annotation so when you can uh, just click up to three uh, items and when you are done with your values you can simply click on this result button so when you will click on this result button so your final output file will be loaded you can see here all the gene name uh, symbols have been corresponding with their uh, gene symbol ids and uh, for some of the gene whose uh, phenotype is, has been reported also been given so now you can uh, simply this export this file in the form of excel or tsv so you can simply click on this go so a new file will be downloaded you can see this file can, should contain our gene stable ids and their gene name so this way you can use this website easily if you have any question to use this website please let me know in the comments thank you for watching bye bye